doing? It's your girl Twin D and just as I started my recording, the timing was 31.13 and guys, that is saying that you guys will be watching this video. You and your masculines are reflecting each other. So whether you are in a state of regret or a state of unhappiness or a state of bliss or a state of calmness, you are reflecting each other. <laughs> Anyways, guys, let's jump into this reading and let's see what message God has for us this morning. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Okay, in the name of Jesus, amen. Let's see what's going on here with these masculines and feminines because you're reflecting each other. <laughs> Romans Angels, what can you tell me about these masculines and feminines? What's going on with them, please? <laughs> Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path and reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life so your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path so this path that you're on, this journey that you're on, this twin flame journey, it has a big influence on your connection because it's one of spirituality, it's one of finding yourself. When you find yourself, you're one. This person from your past life has returned to you. And that's because that's the path that you're supposed to be on, a spiritual path. And we as Divine Feminines, we keep on forgetting that this journey is not about the masculine or what we can get from the masculine or what they did. It's about spirituality, finding yourself, gaining a new sense of spirituality that you never had before. Spirituality, knowing yourself, knowing who you are. your religious upbringing, the way that things were taught to you, the way that you used to do things. And now it's time to change whenever you meet your masculine, whenever you reconcile with your masculine, it's time for a change and those religious upbringings have got to go. This is not just about religion. It's about what you do over and over. You ever hear somebody say, this person, they brush their teeth religiously. No. They jog religiously. Which means it's something that they do over and over and over and over. It's a habit. It's a habit. It's a habit. It's done over and over. So all those wounds that you have within you, when you meet up on your masculine, this person, 444. It's time for you to change those things, release them. Because it's time for you to get back together with yourself. 
attraction. What else can you tell me, please? It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Some of us may be in a state where we are scared to love because every time we love, that person runs away. And that happens with this person when he came back. So you're scared to love, but now you're being told by God that it is safe for you to love. All you have to do is just to open your arms and receive the highest energy of all because it's coming in. That's your reconciliation coming in. Your desires, 555, five, five, there's a big change that's coming in for you. And it's already here. It's already here because you're calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmation, and visualizations help bring you together. It's already here. It's already here and most of the Divine Feminine's reconciliation is coming because you're doing the, the work and calling in your soulmate. See, this is definitely worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Meaning God is working in the background. So you can have this reconciliation because you are doing the work. You're praying. You're making your affirmations. You're visualizing yourself with your counterpart. And that's helping to bring you two together. Because when you think about this person around you, their energy is always with you. Therefore, therefore, they will come to you. And it's worth waiting for. Remember that. Because God is working in the background. This person is coming in a changed person. Because you're going to also be changed after going through this transformation. And he's going to come and express his love to you. Your masculine is going to come back to express his love to you because there's a lot of attraction. And he cannot handle it. Because you're calling your masculine in. Sorry guys, I don't know, I couldn't make up my mind on which card to use next. <laughs> okay, let's see what their energy is like. What are the masculine's energy in regards to this message, please? definitely going within they're figuring things out on their own they're allowing their intuition to guide them to lead them they're praying asking for help because you're also praying and asking for help and guidance they're figuring things out themselves they're not allowing anyone to tell them anything anymore because all they're thinking about is their happiness what makes them happy and they feel happy because they're feeling you divine feminine which is bringing them in bringing forth this that that reconciliation following their instinct following the guidance that they're getting from above and they know that it's coming from above because they are praying see making discoveries and grow they're healing all those things in the past those wounds those wounds they're healing those wounds clearing those wounds and now they're growing opening up their heart to this new journey 
following their instinct. 1001, again, reflecting each other, putting aside all the vanity. No longer concentrating on vanity, but thinking about their joy and their happiness and what makes them happy. Rediscovering themselves, rediscovering love within their heart, joy within their heart. And that's allowing their heart to grow, their emotions to grow, allowing them to grow as a person. As the Divine Feminine changes, so does the Masculine. And again, it depends on what state you are in. That's the state that your Masculine is going to be in. What's it? Okay, very fast. There's a solid offer that's coming in here for you, Divine Feminine. And this time it's going to be solid because your Masculines are growing. They have grown. They have grown. You're going to feel secure. I think she's feeling secure right there. I don't think she want to go anywhere. I wouldn't want to leave. I wouldn't want to go anywhere. Let that guy comes to me. Oh my God. Oh, Lord. Anyways. Your abundance is coming in. You're mirroring each other, reflecting each other. Pay attention to your thoughts, Divine Feminine. Your thoughts can change a lot. The Lady, number 11. Clarity, clear your mind. Whatever is coming in is going to be solid. Because you're calling in your soulmate. Keep up the good work, Divine Feminine. And congratulations to all those who have come into union, have been getting their communications, have been having breakthroughs. Because that commitment is coming. Because it's divinely guided. Purging, releasing, healing. Another number 11, 11, 11. 11, 11. A doorway has been opened for the divine feminines and masculines. Conflicts are over. Arguments are over. The anger. You need to release the anger. Divine feminines who are angry. Release all the conflict, the suffering, the pain. Because in comes your masculine. In comes your masculine with that ace of cups. With his heart. While you are here clearing your mind with the ace of swords. Yep. Just as I said, communication coming in, guys. Communication coming in. Communication is definitely coming in. No more deception. This is going to clear everything up. Commitment. Something strong, something sturdy that's coming in for you guys. Completing cycles, releasing all the negativity. And now they can communicate freely, clearly. Because now they're seeing clearly. Now they're finding themselves. Now they're living the life that they should have been living. Because they have made discoveries within themselves and they're realizing that that's not who they are, the life that they're living 
is not who they are. And the only time they feel like themselves when is when they were with the Divine Feminine. Again, there's a lot of reflecting going on here. You guys are definitely mirroring each other. You're changing each other. Pay attention to your health, Divine Feminine, your mental health. You're the mental aspect of this communication, this reconciliation, this coming together, this connection, everything. Choose wisely, Divine Feminines. Choose happiness. Choose joy. Because look at that. Your masculine is coming in. Because your masculine is coming in. Oh, 555, five, five, 1555. Wow. Your masculine is coming in. Change. Transformed. It's like a newborn baby. Innocent. Coming in for that. What's that? The garden. That celebration. That gathering. That coming together. And he's making sure you know that that's him saying that. Because it's time for happiness. Yes. <laughs> it's time for happiness. It's time to be happy, Divine Feminines. Your happiness is on the way. Let's get some messages from God. These are my deck. Well, I, I'll only use this one. This is my God deck, guys. I get messages directly from God using this deck. Actually, when I was making this deck, I could not write a word until he told me to. Every single sentence I wrote, every single statement I wrote, I had to wait. <laughs> I had to wait. If you would like to purchase this deck, it's in the link below, the link to where you can purchase my decks. Anyways, let's see what God has to say to you. Let the good overcome the bad. Exactly. Think about joy. Think about peace. Think about happiness and success. Let the good overcome the bad. Divine feminines. Don't be thinking about what happened in the past. Forgive, forget, move on. If it's happiness that you seek, walk away from disrespect. Disrespect is not acceptable. That's a lesson for you to learn. Don't accept disrespect from anyone. To have faith is to trust. To trust is to believe. To believe is to achieve. There you go. There you go. If you fail, I fail. Keep going. So that's from your masculine. Reflection. If you fail, divine feminine, they fail. So you got to keep going. Let's get you a message here. Give me a message for these feminines and masculines, please. Justice. Weigh out all possibilities before making any decisions. To truly clear the air, hear all sides before resolving an argument. Compromise isn't always about being right. Look for the fairest solution in any current problem. Consider the long-term results of any resolutions or contracts before signing anything. And on the bottom is the Five of Swords. Offer. Often you get caught up in the struggle to better yourself. This can come to the expense of friends and family. Reevaluate any fights you've let yourself be drawn into. Remember that you don't have to accept every invitation to an argument. 
both cards talking about arguments a hand offered is better than a sword drawn so divine feminines that's that's just saying the same thing that i was saying if you are angry if you are still holding on to negativity and things that happened in the past resolve those arguments take a look at what's happening and resolve the issue look at the outcome oh boy look at this this is not supposed to be here Melchizedek higher learning you have learned from experience more inner studies now required to further progress and that's exactly what the masculines are doing. Learning. Counselor, Archangel Azrael, you're a natural counselor and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. That's for some of you. Some of you are teachers, counselors, guidance, counselors. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Compassion, Archangel Zadkiel, soften your heart with respect to this situation and all the people involved, including yourself. Hello from heaven, Archangel Azrael. Your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. Everything's going to be okay, Divine Feminine. We just got to release the past. Because you're calling in your soulmate. Give me a message, please, for these feminines. Support. Ask for help. Get more rest. Nurture yourself. Miracles. Have faith that your miracle is on its way. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Surrender the how. See? You're calling in your soulmate. Take care of yourselves, everyone. Toot, toot, toot. <laughs> Love you all. Bye.